guys, it's Tony Tom Logan back with another rush kit video for you. And today we're going to get our first look, and I've literally not even opened this yet. So rush kit gets the first airing of the Rampage 5 Extreme. It's the X99 chipset. It's the new 2011 V3 um, socket. It's also got the Asus overclock socket on it, which essentially means there's more pins in there than there should be. Um, which is a worth another video in itself because it's just insane. But what we need to do is, do you just want to look at the board? Do you want to talk about the features? Because there are a lot of them. We've got um, a direct CU on the top uh, MOSFET at the top. So it basically means the copper heat pipe actually touches the uh, heat pipes, at the MOSFETs at the top. We've got the overclock panel in there. We've got the uh, overclock socket, which essentially, like I've said to you already, means that there's uh, more pins in there than there should be. It's not ASUS standard. Now, if we have a look at this, you can see on this one, there are pins missing at the top here. I know the camera's focusing on the Rampage thing. It's really not going to help, but there we go. So you can see that there's pins missing there and there around the sides. But if we drop this one in, you can see immediately there's a lot more pins actually on it. All down the sides are all filled. And essentially what ACES have done is they've taken the Intel socket. Uh, it, they asked Intel what the extra, what the missing pins are for, and Intel were like, you don't need to know, it doesn't matter. So what ACES did is reverse engineered it, went and worked out what all the pins should have been for, and added them in. And I just happen to have two naked sockets so that I can show you guys this stuff. Very nerdy, but I like nerdy. So we've got that. We've also got, um, uh, there's lots of other stuff. We've got Supreme FX audio. It's actually nice to see a Rampage where they've spent a bit of time on the audio. There's the Keybot stuff, so you can bugger around with it. There's Intel um, LAN on there. There's all bits and bobs, but I'm gonna get it out the box now and show you. Okay then, peeps. So a few highlights from inside the box. This is your uh, wireless and Bluetooth dongle. It is magnetic as well. You've got your back plate, which is a lovely kind of smoked, chromey, nickel-y type of affair with no sharpie bits around the back. It'd be nice if this back bit was black, but you know, silver and smooth and spongy is better than nothing. You've got the X socket. This is actually so that you can remove on the 2011, you have the screws on the other side of the motherboard. But you can fit this if you want and get rid of the, the, that section of the, the top bit of the motherboard plate. Uh, and then essentially that means you can just use a normal 2011 heatsink with the, the bolt through that if you want. Or more importantly, and the main reason why this is there, so that you can put a, um, a, a dice pot or an LN2 pot on the top. There is in the box as well a door hanger, but... That's the only sticker that you get. And on the last round page, if I just go and grab it, the black edition, they did send that out with it. And there's not one with this. And I think that's a bit of a, um, an oversight because that was the first one of these bloody badges I've actually liked and they've not really used it since. So that's all you get as far as like little goodies and stuff. Uh, there is the um, uh, OC stand, which, I'm still not a huge fan of. Essentially what they've done with this is they've taken a lot of the switches and stuff off of the motherboard and you can have that on your desk. But the problem is, is you've got the SATA power and the cable at the bottom so that if you end up having it like that on your desk, it generally falls over. Uh, and it's just, for me personally, I, for an overclocker, it's fine. But for like the general public type of thing, this I don't like. Uh, it just adds clutter. The cable inside looks horrible. You have to send a SATA up to the top. I mean, you can put it like this in your motherboard, sorry, in your optical bays. But again, I'm still, I, I never have been a fan, never since they released this if I liked it, and they've still not managed to persuade me otherwise. But anyway, we spent too much time talking already. Let's do this. Now, I'm going to bring a um, slide up quickly, just so that you can have a look. What I would say is pause it, because all I'm going to do from this point on is show you around the actual physical board and then that's it. The video is going to end because I need to get on and make the main channel review for this where I have to do all the talking about stuff and then, um, yeah, and then actually put a CPU in it and start testing it. So it's, there's an immense amount of work. So anyway, you get to see that. Boom. 
and now we're going to show you around the main board itself and like I said I'm just going to show you around I can point out bits to you like the M2 comes right the way down you get a much longer M2 that's uh, down to 110 mil up from 80 excuse me there's uh, an inboard USB 3 inboard USB 3 there's loads of channel fans or uh, chassis fans all over the place dual SATA Express 8 SATA 6 gigabit seconds there's loads of it you've got the um, uh, retry switch here and then the safe boot switch here they are actually wonderful little switches there's brilliant check the main rear if you want to look at these the safe boot basically uh, you hit that and it boots up at stock but all of your settings that you put in before stay there so if you've uh, got a dodgy overclock you smash that it reset goes into the bios in stock settings but all of your overclock settings are there so you can keep tweaking them fucking love that it's brilliant Power and reset. This is so that you can turn your PCI Express on and off for fault finding. Brilliant PCI um, switch. Sorry, PCI readout. Loads of state of freeze, wireless, Bluetooth, Intel Ethernet with the Landguard thing on it. It's just the Bolax. Now a lot of people have said that they didn't like the fact that this doesn't light up. I don't personally see it. I think you know. I mean, it, you wouldn't want it to be too. Glary, this is meant to be the upmarket board. I love that pattern. That's the pattern from the centre of the uh, Strix stuff. It's also uh, the pattern that we've put all over the case, the Strix case that we're giving away. But you know, it's it's found its way onto that as well. So I'd like to know who made that graphic. This is going to light up. This is Direct CU, um, the contact point. That pipe goes through there. And yes, this is a heat sink as well. Look, it's enormous, but it does go round in shield around the back but this is meant to be rush kit I've spent far too much time on it but let's face it the Rampage Extreme is just utter eping so I'm just going to leave it here